When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a fighter pilot, astronaut, something very romantic in that. I think the things that attracted me were, were the uh, exploration nature of it and the courage involved in doing something that. I aspired to have that kind of courage in my life. I think that becoming an entrepreneur now has shown me that we still need courage. It just shows up in different ways. As entrepreneurs, we know a whole lot as we start our businesses that we may not even know we know. But when we learn something new, it certainly helps our community if we'll share that. By giving back, we've learned a whole lot about what we need to do and help strengthen our company and others around us. It was the height of the financial crisis. Um, some people thought I was crazy starting a company at that time. And it was too early for large companies to be interested in it, so something else had to happen. You can't plan success, you can only work towards it. So your little steps will get you there. Run if you can, walk if you have to, crawl if you must, but never give up. So the amazing transition that we faced with now is um, we're moving from 9,500 square feet to North Van to a space in South Vancouver, you know, everyone's, you know, enthused by the move. It's, it's just such a great move for the company. My uh, daily routine of either, you know, taking conference calls in the early morning, biking to work, doing a, a, a day in the office or the lab has been um, superimposed by feeding, uh, burping and sleeping sessions. Change becomes normal eventually. One of the biggest reasons I was drawn to this type of venture is a complete sense of freedom. The ability to, to go out and basically uh, make your own future. And that's what really, really appealed to me. Um, and I think that carries over into other things in my life that I, that I try to do is the sense of freedom and the, the sense of being able to write your own script. It's, it's quite easy to somehow get lost in the details or the six inches in front of your face getting lost in the weeds. And so it's important to, to, to take a step back, I think, and look at where things are going and what the big picture is.